Hello, Flazers. How are we doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me. Happy Sunday. This is another edition of No Husband with IT. My name is Itunu. Yes, welcome to the program today. I'm so glad to be in the house today. Actually, God doesn't make mistakes. Yes, human beings can make mistakes, but God doesn't make mistakes. There is a purpose for everything under the sun. I dropped the video about a week ago and <laughs> concerning your rapist bishop, Faye Daniels. Yes, I I wrote I I I, I re replied to some of you who were asking me for uh you know concerning the computer generated TikTok video. Actually, I want to dedicate this video to one of you, my viewers. The the person's Google name is All Things Bright and Beautiful 1982. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, he or she, because I don't know, <laughs> you know, you are the one that can see me. I can't see you. He or she was the one who gave me uh, the insight into the original owner of the prophecy. Faye Daniels has been peddling and boasting and making noise about the name of the person who who owed that prophecy who god gave that prophecy last year is pastor kingsley okugwe okugwe I, I i hope i pronounce it well that's pastor kingsley there on your screen is the owner of the prophecy faith daniel is just a, a thief is still so a stealer, a rapist. Yes, I don't know him from Adam. I don't know Pastor Kingsley, but I hate, I hate rapists. I hate I hate them from with with everything in me, because no woman is supposed to be raped, and when that happens, those who had uh, those who had experience that can never be the same again it's so unfortunate that a lot of people uh, are supporters of this this kind this questionable character called Faye Daniels Faye Daniels <laughs> uh, you know I I I played the video yesterday is on, on uh, is on the internet and all that He's been since that since the election started. He's been making noise, making videos every day about what he call his own prophecy, which is so. Apparently, the TikToker whose video I used last week, or the other, took it from Faye Daniels, who stole it from Pastor Kingsley Okuwe. Yes, yeah, so Olegbe Olegba, Chief. Still, I'm still carry on. That's that's just that's just what happened. So, like I said, this video is dedicated to my viewer, one, one of you out there. Uh, all things bright and beautiful, 1982. Please, I will. I don't know if you're a man, if you're a woman, but please, I want you to please um, kindly send me an email on itunucircle at gmail.com and then. Uh, I have something for you or your baby, whichever one you prefer. You know, like I said, I don't know you, so I don't know if you're an elderly person. So, Faye Daniels, let me just uh, quickly, if you know, because this incident happened 2020 in Lorry. So, if you know women that this uh, rapist of somebody who call himself a bishop, if this rapist. Uh, if you know one of these women, please send me an email because it's yet to, it will pay for what he did. Yes, I will mobilize that case will be open up. He must suffer for what he did. No woman is supposed to be raped. So, um, the story had it. If you Google his name, it's all over the place. All right. Uh, Olua Feiropo Daniels, that's his full name, who claimed to be a bishop was on tuesday that time now reminded at okekura correctional service over alleged adoption and sexual harassment of a lady who resides as basin area in lori kwara state so this man you are looking at that has been peddling this um 
this prophecy that is, belongs to him appeared before magistrate Muhammad Ibrahim mm -hmm. on, op, on the offenses of obtaining property by false pretenses, impersonation, injurious falsehood, criminal force on a woman with intent to outage modesty contrary to section they quoted the uh, section so i i told you last time that uh, feyi invited uh this lady okay actually it's, it, it, according to the first the police force information report the this person that called bishop met the lady on the social media and invited her to his residence in lekki lagos state and you know a lot of things happen so that is now today this my uh this my view uh, all things bright and beautiful uh 1982 was the one who wrote in the comment section that actually it was pastor kingsley who who is the original owner of that prophecy so i went to look for I went looking, I went, I went making research concerning Pastor Kingsley and actually I, that's him. I got his, uh, uh, YouTube channel, his YouTube channel is called Rap TV. I'm going to put the link to that YouTube channel in this video. Please check him out. In fact, you will see a lot of things this, this man prophesy about two years back years back that Feyi now is um is uh is bragging about that is it was his own prophecy i told you last week god can give two people uh prophecies relating to the same thing but it will not be word for word it will not be it will not be you know word for word so i'm just I'm, I'm i'm going to allow you to see pastor kingsley's um tall prophecy on this matter last year in, in fact I, I i saw a lot this is the first time i'll be seeing him i'll be meeting i mean i'll be hearing about him this is the first time i've not heard about him before and for about for the past three days or so I've been watching a lot, a lot of his prophecies, some of which has actually, you know, come to pass and some that are happening right now, you know, and this man is still saying that God told him that Sunubu will not be, be, um, be sworn in as Nigerian president, okay? So I'm just going to allow you to see the, this is the video, uh, the, the prophecy, Feyi Daniel soul. You will see it word for word. Let's go. For those of you who are supporting, I don't expect you not to support him, but the thing is that he will pay for those he raped. Yes. Let's go. It's concerning the 2023 election. I have always told you in time past that the Lord said Peter B will win this 2023 election. And I have told you as somebody who believes in the perfect will of God, I have told you the perfect will of God. Go and get your PVC ready. Your PVC is your sword that you will use to fight this battle. But the battle is not yours. That PVC is just part of the sword we are going to use. The Lord himself is going to fight the battle for this nation. I have repeated it, repeated it, that there is going to be manipulation, opposition to that election. I have told you in my previous broadcast, even before now, long ago, months ago, I have told you that there will be opposition, that it is at the end of this crisis, opposition, that this, it will be, we will select it or install as the president of Nigeria. 
Now, the prophecy that the Lord gave to me was a shocking prophecy. I will say shocking. It was a shocking prophecy. The Lord told me and he gave me a vision which was very clear. I saw bats, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, in close tie with a representative of Nigeria. I don't want to mention them. And the figures of the election was being announced. And there was issues that has to do with manipulation from somewhere. And I saw Peter B with his eye red. And I saw Atiku come unhappy. There's going to be uh, issues that will arise during the election. Let me read out the first prophecy that the Lord gave to me. I will read it out. It's shocking, but you have to get your mind ready. Wash, pray, wash, pray. Do not be afraid. The Lord said, I will do a new thing in this nation. As the Lord told me in Isaiah 43, 19, so is it going to come to pass. I will do a new thing in this nation. The first prophecy that the Lord gave me, the Lord said that it will be will win, but Tunumbu will be shakingly declared. Tunumbu will be shakingly. The Lord used the word shakingly. I heard it vividly. He said, Tunubu will be shakingly declared as president of Nigeria. And revolution will start. Revolution will start. The Lord said, this revolution that is coming will be worse than answers. Why did I read the anchor verse? I read it because we are nations who will not hear reproof. I've always said it, that if we are to follow the counsel of the Lord, the first thing that Nigeria needs is a referendum, a referendum where all the Joe political zone are gathered and their grievances are settled. The educational sector, they come together, their grievances are settled. The youth, come together, their grievances are settled. The secessionist group come together, their grievances are settled. The electricity sector come together, their grievances are settled. When this is done, when this is done, then we can now have peace. But because we ignore knowledge, that what the Bible told us in that book of Proverbs, chapter 1, from verse 22 to 26, that because they ignore them, is a calamity will come. Calamity will come. Revolution is coming. Revolution is coming. This is because there will be manipulation during the election. And we will see a scenario where big bats will be shakingly declared as president. And then you will see that the Lord said to me that this manipulation will take place in this election that is coming. Manipulation is going to take place in the election that is coming in 2023. There will be manipulation. Number three, prophecy. The Lord said that this manipulation that will take place in the election will be exposed to the people, the masses. The masses will discover this manipulation. Number three prophecy that the Lord told me, I repeat, the masses will discover this manipulation. Number four, God said that, God said that 
in the course of this manipulation, Tunubu will be de shakingly declared as the president of Nigeria. And that will cause the beginning of problems, the beginning of revolution. There will be a revolution which the matter will be settled and at the end you will see a better Nigeria coming out. Now the Lord said to me that Tunubu will not sit on that seat. He will not sit on that seat of presidency. He's not going to sit on that seat of presidency. You will see it, you will see it being announced, being pronounced, being declared, or being shakily declared with the Lord told me. That's what the Lord told me, will be shakily declared. But he will not sit on that seat of presidency. This is what the Lord said. He will not sit on that seat of presidency. Our God does not lie. And will be will later be installed as the president of Nigeria. It will come to pass. Now, there's a vision that the Lord gave to me. The God gave me a vision during the uh, coalition of the elections. The Lord showed me Bola Metunubu, showed me Pitopi, showed me uh, Atiku Abubaka, and also a representative of Nigeria, an official representing Nigeria. And I saw a close tie between uh, Tunumbu and this uh, official, between Bat and this official. I also, I also saw that as they were collating the result, they discovered they were manipulation and B2B was so his eye, I saw his eye very red, his eye was red in the vision. It will come to pass what I'm telling you. Just mark it wherever you are. It is not me, it is the grace of God upon my life. And you see the eye red and I saw Atiku also sad, but he did not. And Obi said he's going to go to court. I saw Obi in the vision where he said is going to go to court. Immediately that is done, there will be an uprising. The youth will sprang up. I saw youth springing up, and I saw everywhere commotion, confusion. There will be burning. There will be riot. Even the hoodlums are going to utilize that opportunity to burn, to destroy. There will be riot. There will be serious commotion. And I saw in the vision where Obi was taken and detained. Are you hearing me now? I saw in the vision where Obi was taken and detained. So wherever you are, I want you to pray for this nation. This nation needs prayer. Watch and pray. There's need for us to pray. There's need for us to pray. Because as soon as that, this... Uh, election issue come up, there will be serious revolution. The moment they detain Obi, the revolution become escalated. The revolution will become escalated. That's what the Lord told me. Said the, the revolution will become escalated. Then I saw in the vision also, this is the second vision, which you will see will come to pass. Because as I see it, I will ask the Lord, what is this? What is this one? What is going on? What is going to happen? I saw in a vision where uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu was about to be uh, was about to be swept in as the president of Nigeria, and where he was waiting for the swearing in in the swearing in ceremony, where he was he was waiting to give a speech. Suddenly, I saw military men come and. Take him out. I will say they rough handled him and take him out of the stadium. It was a stadium. And I saw another man coming up to make speech. And the Lord said to me, That is the head of the interim committee. There will be an interim committee, or what I call the interim government. 
they are going to work hand in hand with the military. There is going to be a parallel government. The military is going to supervise this interim committee. So at the end of the whole thing, Obi was selected as a president of Nigeria. This is the prophecy that I have for this nation. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you so much. You can see. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. You can see that was September. That video was uploaded September 21st, 2022. The first one, he, the previous one he referred to was July 15. I'm going to put his, the same thing he said. I'm going to put the link to his channel on this video. You, are, you, are, you will see a lot of things. The things he said about uh, Yes in Wiki. What Yes in Wiki is doing right now, this man said it. You can see a man who is humble. He kept referring to God. God told me. God told me. But you see what your rapist, um, your rapist bishop is was bragging about. And in 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 the past few days, he has been he has been doing follow up <laughs> follow up. Um, I mean, for you know, he has been doing follow up video. Didn't I? I said it. I said it. I said that. I said it. I said it arrogance you can see a man before before this before he began to say these prophecies he read it actually read some scriptures i don't want to bore you with that that was the anchor he referred to when god sent a man message there is a way you you see that he, he wrote them down and he was referring to them this man this uh pastor uh, kingsley uh Okube is the is the person that Sheikh Daniels, your rapist bishop, copied copied it from his channel, okay? And I I, I think that is that that is the original owner. I want to, you know, I want to thank so much my this person that gave me this hint. All things bright and beautiful, 1982. That's your name on Google. Please con uh, connect me on on Gmail. Let's let's talk. I, I have a present for you. I have a gift for you. Now, if you know any of the women, this thing she Faidanes did happened in Ilorin. So one in Ilorin, one in Lekki, Lagos. So if you know any of the women, Nigeria is not. We know somebody. We know somebody. Somebody. We know somebody. If you know some the, one of them, if you know any of them, please send me an email. Rapists should not go free. The peace will not go free. Don't come to my channel and, and insult me. You know, a, 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 <laughs> like, you know, some prior to this time, you know, sometimes I'll just see some comments, I'll just ignore them as but once in a while I give you I give you back. Yes. Once in a while I do that. So I'm going to put the link to this man channel here. Is so you can see you can see a man who is humble. You can see he kept saying the Lord told me, the Lord told me. So I've, I wrote comment on Faye Daniel's uh, video he did during the week. I, I saw it as advertising his ministry. Yeah, and some people received for play of his um, of his um, whatever he is doing with them. I can't imagine a woman. You said a work a woman who is a pastor is not uh, didn't come for a work for a workers meeting. Then she should come to your house in Lekki. And she came there. That one is in Point newspaper. The report is in Point. I don't know this Fayid before. I can't know people like this, honestly. I when 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 that um this TikTok video was sent to me, the one I used last week. I now said, let me find out about this person. I Google his name because somebody sent me. It's the same person that sent me the video that is making noise about saying the, the saw prophecy and then um, the TikTok something. Somebody sent to the truth for to me so i said let me google his name i put Faye daniels on google and this rape case came out the internet doesn't lie i don't know him i don't know pastor kingsley the the the, the and i saw um uh bishop detained for rape this is Faye daniels i let i mean i was i let the uh said to have raped people he was detained in, in um 
in a place in a lorry and this and that they, they mention the name of the judge and all that and all that and somebody some some people were still supporting rape some people came to write on my comment that was what got to, to me that so this man is a rapist and he's doing all this and some people are saying hey, hey what if he rape come on and i replied them if you support rapists your daughters will be raped yes because there's no woman that can be raped and remain the same that is why if you know any of the women that this thing happens, then you say somebody did not come for a workers' meeting. So as a, as a form of punishment, she should strip herself naked. And she did. I don't know. Is is Faith Daniel's church, the only church in Nigeria that you can attend? If somebody who says a bishop, look at how small that boy is and is calling himself bishop. Who, who, who made you bishop? You know, all this. You see, I don't blame these people because... As it were, <laughs> the an out of my said the tsunami that is going on in the political political terrain will happen in the in the in the Christendom in Nigeria. If not that a lot of people that we expect to talk are not saying anything. These ones will be coming out. Somebody that's a rapist will be coming out to say, God told me this, God told me that. Yeah. Look at he didn't he wasn't even saying God told him. He said, I, I told you. I said, Obi will cry. I said, eh, this. I s come on. Look at the man God gave the vision. Look at look at the difference. Compare the two videos. I don't want to play that that non entities uh, uh, video on my channel again. That for you, I wrote on his on his video during the week. I said, we have known the original owner of this prophecy. Twice, two of his videos. I wrote no reply. I said, go and settle your rape case first. I wrote comments on this video. Go and settle your rape case first. Go and settle with the people you rape. Settle with God. God cannot be mocked. Whatever a man sow, he must reap. You must, you must be punished for what you did. If you know any of these women, please contact me through email. We are going to, I'm going to begin to, 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 to mobilize to reopen this case again. If it is money that you used to cover it up that time, we will open it up again. And you pay Daniels, you will pay for this. I told you, God doesn't make mistake. It was good. I used that TikTok video last week. That was what got me into, into knowing Pastor Kingsley. That was what got me into knowing that Faye Daniel is a rapist. He, if he did it two years ago and he didn't repent, trust me, he will still be doing it. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't come to my channel and, and tell me rubbish because I will reply you. I don't know anybody in in his um, in his or enormous senses will be supporting rapists. Come on, give this video a thumbs up and any other video you will see on YouTube. I'm going to be doing. In fact, if I if I <laughs> I I pray I have time during the week. I want I want to be picking this video this prophecy one after the other i will pick this man's own i will pick the daniel's own the days it was said you will compare the two if i've had it and that's what i want to do i'm going to be doing up follow-up videos on this rapist who called himself the bishop i want to see you again very soon my name is Itunu. thank you so much every rapist will go to hell no matter if you don't repent if you don't restitute Go and beg the people you raped, settle with God. Go and restitute and, and, and settle with God. That is it. I don't know you. I don't know Pastor Kingsley. I'm even seeing his video, his video three days ago for the first time. But if you are a rapist, you must pay for it. Thank you so much. Um, All things bright and beautiful. Please send me email. I have a gift for you, either for you or your baby. You know, I don't know you. I mean... Let's talk. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. I'm going to see you very soon. Mm, I love you. Don't be a rapist and don't for, and don't and don't don't support rapists. Don't that the act of rape is is, is barbaric. It's only uh, even animals don't do it. Can you imagine? You, have you seen animal a a um a male animal trying to woo the female? You, you see how they they don't rape. They don't force themselves on on. On, on the female animal. What is all a human being? Come on. 
except you know there are uh, a lot of diabolical things all over the place mm -hmm. we don't know what they are doing because one of the women said that uh, he ble she bled yes this bleeding of a thing does it ring bell the same thing with johnson suleiman when he sleeps with a woman they will bleed some are still bleeding what are you people doing with this bleeding of a thing? What is it? What is it? Thank, thank God for the social media. Your secret will no longer be, 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 be covered. Maybe God wants to revisit that real case. That's why you went to copy somebody's prophecy. Yes. Uh -huh. Because you can only know the beginning of, of a war. You can't know the end. As for me and you, Faye Daniels, we're going to reopen this rape case again. Yes, we are going to do it. Okay, people, I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much. The Lord will protect your children from rapists. Bye for now. Go to church with your senses. Go to church with your brains intact. How can a pastor say strip naked because you didn't come for a meeting and then you did that? You, you won't spit, spit on him and, and get out of his house. What nonsense. All right, people. I see you soon. <laughs> Bye.